Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. Today's episode, take a look at some action I had recently with a squad mate of mine. We were happened to be on the moon map, and he and I did absolutely everything we could to win that match. And sometimes, no matter how much effort you put in, you just can't pull it off. And a lot of times it comes down to other teammates not pulling their weight. Anyways, you know, live and let live. It is what it is, but it was a hard-fought battle nonetheless, and I wanted to share it with you. So with any further ado, let's get into the action. All right, here we go. Beacon Rush on Moon Map. Let's see how we can do here. As always, almost always, anyways, I'll start with my Kumio. Drop in. We're dropping a little bit late, unfortunately, for some reason. My uh, device wasn't responding quite quickly. Anyway, so let's just go grab this beacon, and uh, I'll go and get this other uh, far right-hand beacon, too. Uh, to go through, go around these pillars. Going up here. Let's see if I can grab this pillar, if I'm going to get shot by Hydras. Half the time I'm on the moon map, I usually get shot by Hydras while I'm sitting here. Looks like I'll be okay. Alright, so now let's see what we can do with these enemies here. Some guy, that guy's coming up over the ramp a little bit. Just have to try and do my best. I am on a Kumio, this is not a brawling bot. The guy's coming with a pursuer, he's going to try and grab that beacon. Okay, so he's going to go into stealth. I'm waiting for him to get into stealth here. I kind of want to get on the beacon so he can't grab it. Hopefully I can hold this beacon long enough that I can drop in here with something else. So the pursuer's gone away. He's just going to wait for his self to come back and then come back around. So let's see maybe if I can do some damage down here. I have to remember that pursuer's up there. He'll probably try to come back around again. So, of course, there's my target. Why is my target going off like that? Just stay on target. Check that pursuer. He's still up there, okay? So he's not coming around to that side beacon yet. Right now we have three beacons. Just trying to do my best here. See if I'm going to allure him out a little bit and make him waste his fire. My teammate is going to the center there. And here comes the pursuer again. So I'm just going to sit here. See if I can hit him as he comes around the cover. He's going to go into stealth. And there's a teammate of mine. Uh, my squad, squad mate, Roof. He just uh, dropped in. So he's going to probably take care of that pursuer. Alright, so I'm going to focus my attention back down here in center so that guy has uh, ember so he's just not you no know, it's not a very good target for me but maybe I can do some splash on this specter here I do have a full load well I didn't get the kill but actually no I must have gotten the kill it says I got the kill but I didn't get a kill feed message anyways that being said let's go back down here Okay, now it's time to drop back in. Okay, let's just go up the side here. Let's see if we can stop. Okay, so we got that guy taken care of. Now, next, next target. He's in range. I don't want to jump yet. I don't even know what he's in. I also don't want to take a huge amount of damage walking out like this, but. Throw some splash in the center. Wow, that's not hitting him. Oh, he, he, he got around that that, uh, that center structure there. Okay, well, I didn't use all my Orkins, so I still have splash left. Okay, there he is. He's jumping. Just going to wait for him to land. He jumps straight up. He should land right in front of me. Oh, there he is. He's on top. Okay, here he's coming down, and now it's time to unload. There we go. Taken care of. Now, next target. That guy's probably just going to sit underneath here, so let's get into stealth. He went into stealth too. I'll, I'll lose this, this uh, matchup, but that's okay. I'll just go in and try to do as much damage as I can. Hit him with as much as I can. I have a splash, but he has the Tarons and Redeemer. I'm actually surprised. I thought I was going to actually lose that match. Okay, let's sit on this beacon here, see if we can turn it. There we go. Okay, we got we got that beacon again. Now it looks like my team might be need some help here on the left. There's another guy coming down through center. 
Okay, I think they got that that enemy taken care of over there, so I'll just jump over. See if we can do some damage here. Okay, I didn't get him taken out. That's unfortunate. Let's turn around, and there are three of them coming through center, so this, this was not a good move for me. I was hoping I could get behind that structure and turn that beacon so I could drop in. Well, I got three bots left. Let's see what we can do. This is we've already have a four cap on us now. I'm not sure what our team is doing. I know Roof there, my squad mate, he's doing a good job, but everybody else seems to be running around with like a chicken with its head cut off. It's fortunately a pursuer against a Lancelot doesn't work very well. Unless I can get up closer so I can hit in the, just underneath his shield in the corner. She can usually get around the shield that way. So I'm gonna go up for this blitz. And of course he somehow hit me and uh, suppressed me in stealth. That, that sucks. Anyways, we'll take him out here. All right. Now they still have a four cap. We gotta get a beacon here. Or this is gonna be over really quickly. I'll go up here, see if maybe I can somehow turn this, but even if I do turn this, I'm gonna have to come off this center in order to engage the enemy and they're just gonna get the center back. Right now, I think there's two guys underneath me, so there's no, there's really not much point in me sitting here. I'll try to go over and get this guy on the left-hand side, or right-hand side, but right now I don't even know what direction I'm facing, to be honest. So it looks like it's a Heishi. Although it could be an Ancelot, I'm not quite sure what it is. Actually, it could be a Carnage. Every once in a while I do see a Carnage. So it's just going to sit here and get this beacon first. It's really, it's only down to two of us left? I still have two more bots. What, what has my team been doing? And yeah, it's an Ancelot. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to try and do something because I, this Pursuer is not set up to go against Lancelot. So let's see if I can see, I'm trying to hit underneath his shield there in the corner where it can do some damage, but again, Shotguns at this range really won't hit very much in that weak spot. I'm gonna have to get up close and personal to him, but I'm gonna I'm gonna die here before I can actually do much more damage. It's three against two, and of course my teammate here is in a uh, a Fujin with Hydras. So that's not gonna do any good. I I need his shield. I need him to go in front of me. Okay, there you go. Okay, go in front of me. What, what are you doing? Like, come with me. I Sometimes you just can't rely on random teammates. No, I'll get him taken care of, but I'm going to die here. I need that Fujin with me. I don't even know where he is. At least he could come in the center and throw up his shield. He's got a Taron and I think two Hydras. So, of course, I'm locked down with my Mender. Doing everything I can, but I, I need him to actually do something. He's just sitting there. Uh, if he would push into center, we could grab that beacon. Like, I, I, I need him to come to center with me. Like, come on, guy. Like, come to center. I can heal you when you go into center uh, when I'm not locked down, of course. See, there he goes again. He, all, you, all you need to do is put a foot in that circle. Just put a foot in the circle. Like, come on. I'll go in and get the beacon, but we're we're losing because you're not coming with me to help me out here. See, there he goes. All he had to do was come with me with his shield, and we would have taken center. Now, now all I have left is my fury. Unfortunately, yeah, this match I I, uh, I decided not to put in my Ares. I was running my fury just for a change, and my fury is not obviously not a brawling bot. And of course, it's one on one. And he has some Scourge or something on there, Sparks, I'm not quite sure. So he's just going to melt me down. I don't have healing on this bot either. So, well, he got to take care of. Please don't have another bot. Please don't have another bot. Oh, crap, and it's a bulwark. Yeah, okay, game over. Not much else I could do. I tried my best, but when you don't have some teammates actually behaving like teammates, you, you can't do everything yourself. Well, it was a loss, but it was a hard-fought match nonetheless. Let's take a look at the tail of the tapes, and we'll call this a video. 
All right, well, I got my crate. Bronze crate. Yay, woohoo. Top damage, 1.2 million with 9 kills. And my teammate got over a million with 11 kills. We did our best. It wasn't enough. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. You can't win them all. And until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.